Good morning, SCM. Today, the church celebrates the memorial of St. Cyril and Methodius, who, out of love, left their homeland and become, became the heralds of the gospel for Eastern Europe, thus being declared as patrons. Another saint we celebrate today, and are perhaps a little more familiar with, is St. Valentine. He, too, out of love for God, gave his life to share the gospel with others and became famously known as the patron saint of lovers, among other things. This Valentine's Day, let us take a moment to thank God for those whom we love and for those who love us. Now let us put ourselves in the most holy presence of the Lord, in the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have a, the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous. Love is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. God of love, thank you for those who, that we love, our family, our, fa our friends, those that have gone before us, and those we have yet to meet. Let your compassion, generosity, and love continue to shine in our life long after the flowers and chocolates are gone, so that we and all whom we might love remember that you love us unconditionally every day. Amen. Amen. St. Valentine, pray for us. St. Thomas More, pray, pray for, for us. us. Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, St. Thomas More. A couple of important announcements from guidance. Now that drop-in ad is over and you are all settling into your semester two classes, we will be shifting our focus to registration for the 2023-2024 school year. In order to register for the 2024 school year, Students will need to complete the following by Thursday, March the 4th, 2023. Select your courses in my blueprint. Pay the $50 activity fee through School Cash Online and verify the information on your registration form, which will be mailed to you or emailed to you shortly. To, ass to assist you in the registration process, your grade level counselor will be doing an option sheet presentation immediately after the morning announcements this week beginning today with grade 12s tomorrow grade 11s thursday grade 10s and friday grade 9s please give them your full attention you don't want to miss it teachers a student handout for, t for the day's presentation will be placed in your mailbox each morning beginning today with the grade 12s returning for a year five if there are any grade 12 students not in your grade 12 or not in a grade 12 class, please send them to the lecture hall, room 218, so they can listen to their grade level presentation there. Students, my blueprint is now open for course selections. Instructions will be provided to you on how to select your courses. Please make this a priority, especially for students going into grade 11 or grade 12 next year. If you want to ensure that you get the courses that you want or need, act now to avoid disappointment later. Have a great day, STM. It's apartheid. How did it start and how did it end? Translated from Afrikaans, apartheid means apartness, and it was a series of laws that divided people in South Africa by their race. In the 1940s, more than 80% of South Africa's population was black but the ruling government was all white. After winning an election in 1948, believing their race was superior and wanting to preserve it, the Africana National Party put in place laws that segregated white and non-white South Africans. People had to be registered to one of four racial groups and were forced to live in areas assigned to their race. More than 80% of land was given to less than 20% of the population. Many black Africans were forced out of their homes. They weren't allowed to own land and weren't recognized as citizens of South Africa. 
black people had separate schools and separate buses, and interracial marriage was made illegal. Even though it was popular amongst the white minority of the population, apartheid faced resistance from the beginning. Good morning, STM. My name is Maria, and I'm here from United Against Racism. As we just learned in the video, the apartheid was a system of racial segregation that existed in South Africa for nearly 50 years. In this system, 148 laws were enforced where the white minority was favored while the black majority faced extreme discrimination. The murder of 69 peaceful protesters in the 1980 Sharpeville massacre began worldwide protests and resistance led by Nelson Mandela, who was imprisoned for 27 years because of his fight for freedom. When he was released from prison and elected as president in 1994, the apartheid laws were abolished. Although many lives were lost due to the political violence during the apartheid era, their struggle changed the world and brought a new beginning for South Africans and black people globally. Thank you, STM. My name is Sophia. And my name is Michael. And here are your announcements for today. There will be a diversity committee meeting today after school in the library at 2.50 p.m. Reminder to all junior girls volleyball players of their semifinal game today at 5.30 against ACMT. Come before 5, ready to warm up. Go Knights! Just a reminder that tomorrow you can wear a red or white top to support the United Way. Please make a donation through School Cash Online for a chance to win prizes. And now for your sports. Last night, your junior boys basketball team played in the semifinal game against CHS. The team fought hard to the final buzzer, losing 72 to 63. The coaches couldn't be prouder of the team's efforts as they are a God's gift to STM. Best of luck to the players moving up to the senior level and to those returning. It will be a fun off season getting everyone ready for next year. As always, it will forever be nighttime. The boys hockey team has earned a spot in the semifinals after beating Bishop Tonus 4-1 yesterday. After going down 1-0 early, the boys scored four straight en route to victory. Blake Curran led the way with two goals, Jack Orman and Josh Cordell had a goal and an assist each, and Joseph Sinclair had three assists. Matteo Bofa was once again stellar in net. Next game is on Wednesday versus BR. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Good morning, STM. I'm Alicia. And I'm Grace, and here are your announcements from Student Council. STM, love is in the air. This morning, Student Council will be delivering candy grams to your first period classes, so you won't have to wait too long for a sweet treat. Senior students, it's the time you've all been waiting for. Prom is this Thursday, February 16th, at Carmen's Banquet Center. Remember to bring your student ID or you will not be allowed into the event. Senior seating arrangement information will be available to view on Instagram shortly, as well as at the event. Anyone in need of a prom dress or a suit can visit Student Success to find their perfect outfit. Check out our Instagram at STM underscore council for updates, information, and everything council related. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Have, Have a great day. Grade 12 classes, please leave your televisions on for an important option presentation. Grade 12 students who do not have a period one class, please proceed to the lecture hall to view the presentation. And for the rest of you, STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.23, and remember, it's a great day to be a knight.